nitrogenase. Okay, so this is another group of nitrogen fixing bacteria, guys. These are soil living nitrogen fixation, nit nitrogen fixing bacteria. And the specific example that we'd like you guys to remember, these bacteria belong to the genus Rhizobium. And the name Rhizobium, it literally means root living. Root living? It's like, what the heck? What, what, you know, what are these guys doing? Why are they called root living? Okay, this is so fun. I love this stuff. Okay, so let's pretend that we've got um, a, um, a plant, a special plant. And the special plants these soil living bacteria like to live with, they live with... So they have a symbiotic relationship with plants that belong to the legume family. And legumes, you guys are probably pretty familiar with legumes. Legumes include beans, pea, clover, alfalfa. Okay, these are all members of this cool legume family. So let's just pretend this is the dirt. Ooh, kind of wavy dirt. Okay, this is the dirt. And let's say this is our bean or pea plant. This one right here. Okay. So the parts of the plant that grow above ground usually are green, right? Why are they green? Yeah, exactly. They too have chlorophyll A in their chloroplast. So which incredible process are they carrying out? Oxygenic photosynthesis, dynamite. Yeah, oh my god, plants are so cool. Okay, so they're carrying out oxygenic photosynthesis. Okay, so okay, so where's the nitrogen fixation going on? In the dirt. Okay, so mm -hmm. these guys they'll grow roots and then these little soil living bacteria, the rhizobium, they actually invade. They invade, they infect the the roots. Okay, they're gonna invade and in fact the roots of the legumes. This is so cool, you guys. And when the rhizobium invade the roots, they trigger the roots to make these special little structure called root nodules. And, and they actually look like little bumps on the roots. Okay, so these are gonna be the root nodules that form as a consequence of infection by rhizobium. Now, why are these root nodules important? It turns out the root nodules have very low molecular oxygen contents. Low or almost no, well, we'll put low. Low O2. And why might that be helpful to a nitrogen-fixing bacterium? What could the rhizobium make in those root nodules that would help them carry out nitrogen fixation? Nitrogenase, right? Mm -hmm. So when the rhizobium are living in the root nodules, the rhizobium make what? Nitrogenase. Yeah, the rhizobium make the nitrogenase since there's so little oxygen present. The nitrogenase is not inactivated. So what incredible process occurs in the root nodules? Nitrogen, nitrogen, nitrogen fixation, nitrogen. that's right. So if we ask you what's the function of the root nodules or what and usual process occurs there, you're going to say what? Nitrogen fixation. Nitrogen fixation, dynamite. Now, why am I so excited? Okay. Okay, a lot of um, gardeners like to plant legumes in their garden as a form of what's called green manure. So le legumes are often called green manure. Okay, so let's try to figure out what the heck they mean by green manure. So what's manure, you guys? What's like cow manure? What's cow manure that you might spread on your garden? It's cow what? Cow goo, cow dung, cow feces, right? Cow okay, poop. so animal feces is a great source of ammonia and nitrates, which plants use to grow to make protein and nucleic acids, right? Okay. Well, uh, because we know, we're going to find out, there's a lot of pathogens that can be present in feces, you know, so a lot of people are a little bit uneasy about spreading cow manure or 
um, turkey or chicken manure on their gardens, especially if they're growing vegetables or fruits that won't be cooked, right? Because there, you know, there could be some pathogens in there. So what a lot of folks are doing is, um, are, and this has gone on for generations. You know, our ancestors did it. Is a lot of folks will plant legumes in their gardens, and the idea is the legumes, with the help of the rhizobium living in the dirt, will make the root nodules. They'll carry out nitrogen fixation. And so the, the, um, the plant and bacteria together will enrich the soil for usable ammonia, ammonium, and nitrates, which then either surrounding plants can use or what a lot of folks will do is they'll plow the legumes into the soil. They'll actually plow it back into the soil and it will um, act as a source of nitrogen in that, in that way as well. Okay. So why am I excited? Well, I've been playing with this stuff, you guys. And so um, in fall, I planted some um, bell beans or baba beans. Baba beans and bell beans are some of the green manure that you can buy in the nurseries. And so yesterday, I dug some up to bring in. And it was totally dark when I dug them up in the morning, so I didn't know if there'd be any root nodules present. But it turns out they are. There, 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 there was a lot of root nodules present. They tend, after you dig them up, they tend to they fall off easily. But if you guys come back here, you know, whenever you have time, you'll if you pick up the roots, you'll see it almost looks like little styrofoam balls. At first, I was like, are you kidding? Are those the root nodules? They look like little pieces of styrofoam. But those are the root nodules, you guys. I was so proud of these little beans. <laughs> and they were, like I said, there was, there was a lot more yesterday. They tend to fall off. So what could we ask you on a lab practical? Well, first of all, we had a pointer pointing to those little balls. We could ask you to identify the structures. <coughs> what would you tell us? The root nodules, right? Um, who lives inside the root nodules besides plant cells? A rhizobium, right? Could you classify rhizobium? Is it acellular or cellular? Is it a prokaryote or a eukaryote? Eukaryote. Remember, only bacteria can carry out nitrogen fixation, right? So would rhizobium be a prokaryote or a eukaryote? Prokaryote. Good, you guys. Domain? Bacteria. Good. Dynamite. Okay, rhizobium. Which special enzyme can they make? Nitrogenase. Nitrogenase. Uh, what process does nitrogenase catalyze? Nitrogenase. Why is it important the rhizobium are living in these root nodules? Um, uh, why is that important for nitrogen fixation to occur? What's unusual about the inside of the root nodule? Low O2. Low O2. And if you said anaerobic, anaerobic means without air, without O2, that would be a perfect answer. Okay. Um, low O2, anaerobic environment, why is that important? Because the nitrogenase is going to be inactivated by high oxygen concentrations. Do you guys see kind of like some of the questions, how we could, we could do classification questions, function questions, structure questions, enzyme questions? Okay, but yeah, just make sure you guys come back here. Don't be afraid to pick it up. It's just dirt. Yeah. And there's these root, can you see that? So almost, there's little root nodules. Isn't that cool? Okay, and that then is the last thing you have to look at today. So again, as a reminder, folks, I'll make a little, why don't we make a little list? Because I know everybody's tuckered out. It's good to know what the heck we're supposed to be doing. Okay, so what, what we want to do today is to do the gram stain.